Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we are gonna be getting some shrimp and fish to go in this five gallon Christmas themed aquarium. I set this thing up a couple videos ago. It's got that super cool, like frosted backlit background. The only thing that's bad about it is it's hard to like get a good shot on the camera because it makes all the decorations like so dark. The whole tank looks a lot brighter in person, just letting you guys know. But anyway, in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see some shrimp and fish in that tank, and you guys definitely want to. I got hundreds of comments telling me what to get for it. And I wanna get some shrimp and some small fish. I'm not set on a specific fish. I'm thinking it's going to be neon tetras, but I'm not sure. And then I want to get some cherry shrimp and I'm pretty sure there are actually green shrimp as well. So if my local fish store has those, then I'm definitely getting them. But it is seven o'clock right now. So my main local fish store is closed, but my local pet supplies plus is open until nine. And I'm pretty sure I saw some cherry shrimp there last time I was there. I don't think they had any green ones, but hopefully they still have those cherry shrimp. If they don't, then I really don't know what we're going to get. But let's just head over to the pet store and see what we can find. Alrighty guys, well I just got done inside the pet store and here is what I got. I got two blue shrimp. Not sure of their actual name, it might be blue dream shrimp. Not positive on that. And then we got a red one and I'm not quite sure if it's actually a cherry shrimp because it's not like bright red and it's not like completely red. You'll see when we get it home into the tank, but it's red nonetheless. And then the last one we got, I think he said it was an Amano shrimp, AKA an algae eating shrimp. I don't know much about shrimp in case you can't tell, but hey, we're changing that. So we got four shrimp total and then we also got five neon tetra they are absolutely tiny like they are babies you'll see what i mean when we get back and they'll be just fine in a five gallon but if i ever take down that five gallon these guys can just go in the 55 so that's that we're gonna get all these guys home and get them all situated in the christmas tank all right guys we are back from the pet store but before we can put our shrimp and fish in there to start acclimating we're gonna have to get some of this water out of here or else it'll overflow so that's what i'm gonna do right now And there we go. We got those neon tetras right there. And you can tell that they are definitely pretty tiny. Like this is not a big tank whatsoever. It's only five gallons, but they make this thing look pretty big. And we've got our shrimp right in here. The big one on the left is the Amano shrimp. And the one next to that is the red one. His colors are a little dull just cause he's stressed. So you can definitely see a little hint of red on his back. Then we've got one of the blue ones right there. And then the other blue one is right up here. I cannot wait to see these guys in the tank. And with that being said, we're gonna give them about 20 minutes to acclimate. Then we'll release them into their new Christmas tank. Alrighty guys, it's been about 25 minutes actually. So these fish and shrimp are definitely ready to go in their new tank. And we're gonna start with the neon tetras. I got five of them by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. One of my personal favorite aquarium fish. The colors on these guys are just unreal. And I've been wanting some more of these guys for a while. I have those sick ones down in the quarantine tank and I thought about getting some healthy ones for the 55. But there's already so many fish in that tank that I decided I just can't. But now we got a new tank, so we got some new neons. I'm gonna go ahead and dump them into this net. And we'll put them in the tank from there and there they all go and now into the tank they go boom oh those look so cool i'll give you guys a closer look yeah look at them and that's not even their full colors they're just really stressed right now those guys are gonna look awesome all right now let's get the shrimp in there and here go the shrimp into the net and here they go are we missing a blue one? Oh, this blue one's still in the bag there he goes Oh, those look so cool. Look at these shrimp. Those blue ones are crazy looking. Then we got the big fella Amano shrimp. Oh, red one just came right up front. And yeah, you can see right there. He probably is a cherry shrimp. You guys can let me know in the comments. But you guys see what I was talking about? He's like not a solid red, but hey, he's going into the gingerbread house. <laughs> then we got the other blue one heading back there. That is so cool. Where'd the neons go? Oh, they're back behind the Christmas tree. I am so happy with all these fish and shrimp that I got. This Amano shrimp is actually cooler than I thought. It's got like a line going down on his whole body and then a bunch of dots. It's actually super cool. Oh yeah, and I should mention when I set this tank up two days ago, I did add in this water conditioner. That is pretty important to mention. And then while they were just acclimating, I also added in this bacteria starter. So this water is completely safe for them. Just thought I should let you guys know about that. But here's another look at one of those blue shrimp. He is so cool looking. And then we got the red guy right there, just came out of the gingerbread house. And we got the Amano shrimp taking flight up here. And then the neons still right back there. So like I always do, we are gonna give these shrimp and neons Neon Tetras some time to get used to their new tank. I guarantee in a couple hours the Neon Tetras colors will be much brighter as well as those shrimp especially the red one. So we're gonna give them a few hours to get adjusted to the tank and I'll check back in with you guys then. 
All right, guys, it's now been about three hours since we put these shrimp and neon tetras in the tank. So let's take a look at them. Not too, too much has changed. The colors on the neon tetras might have gotten a little bit better. Yeah, they definitely got a little bit brighter for sure. The tetras are still super young, though. You can tell like these things are tiny. So that's probably also why their colors aren't like fully developed. And then we got the shrimp right here. We got one of the blue ones zooming around the tank. At first, the two blue ones were just kind of staying in place, but they're definitely getting a bit more comfortable in here. There's the Amano shrimp up there. I don't know what he's doing. He might be trying to escape. Then the other blue shrimp is on the back of the gingerbread house right there. And then the red one is right here. And yeah, his colors are definitely a lot better than they were. He is much, much more red now. So that guy is super cool. I mean, all the shrimp are super cool. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for some more shrimp for this tank. I for sure want some more red ones. And then I'm also going to keep an eye out for some green ones. And I won't like make a separate video on that or anything. It'll just be in a future video. And then I'm also probably going to do another feeding all my pets video. So you guys will get to see the shrimp and the neon to eat. So stay tuned for all that. That is going to wrap up this video and today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and I am going to see you in the next video. No! I just threw this sock and it landed in the freaking water.